Have you ever seen colors made by a transparent glass object or even the plastic scale in your compass when sunlight passes through it? Have you ever wondered where do these colors come from? The fact is sunlight already consists of these colors. What these objects do is just separate them out. This phenomenon of separation of light into its component colors is called the dispersion of light. But why does this bending occur? We saw in the previous videos that light ray bends when it encounters a change in medium. Refraction, correct? <laughs> However, this bending is different for different colors. Red bends the least while violet bends the most. We learned earlier that the amount of bending is determined by the refractive index, which is a property of the medium. But now, here we learn that this refractive index is different for different colors of light even though they are traveling through the same two media. We can see the separation of light very clearly in a glass prism. As sunlight enters through one of the sides of the prism, it bends inwards. Remember, it is going from a rarer to a denser medium, right? But since refractive indices are different for different colors, they get separated. This process happens again when light escapes the prism and goes into air. Bending outwards. Red bends less outwards while violet bends much more outwards, enhancing the separation between them. And so we can see a nice spectrum of seven colors. Hmm. Now some of you might be thinking, what is so special about the prism? Why can't we see dispersion in the glass lab experiment? And indeed, whenever light ray encounters a change in medium, the individual colors do get separated a bit and it does happen at the first boundary of the glass slab. But then, the second boundary of the glass slab is exactly parallel to the first boundary. And here, light ray goes from a denser to a rarer medium. All individual colors bend outwards. The amount of bending is exactly equal to that at the first boundary, but in the opposite direction. Hence, light ray comes out as one single emergent ray. In case of the prism, the two surfaces are at an angle with each other. So the effect of the separation of colors is enhanced rather than cancelled. This is why we can see dispersion clearly with a prism. Now you can also try shining light from different sources through the prism. You can use different bulbs, batteries and gelatin papers of different colors to cover the sources. Observe the colors that come out of the prism. This way you can figure out the color composition of light. Interesting, isn't it?